Okay, my friends, um, we'll continue. I am having some issues with um, my computer my computer loading things up. Um, it's going. It's just extremely, extremely slow. I've done some sweeps and other things, you know, but I, I hate computers and I love computers. I'm in that zone right now. But let's get back to our um, project here. The the videos that I'm loading, you know, not, not trying to serve away from our project here, it's, um, you know, what I just did before this, so it really needs to be loading up, so I'm not even going to touch the computer, I'm just going to let it be, you know, I, I know it's taking a lot of space, and it seems like the computer, every time I upload, it doesn't want to do anything else. It's an old computer, I really need a new one, and I'll get, I'll get to that. But, <clears throat> so I, add the, I added all the corners, and I want you to see that. Isn't that amazing? I think I think they turn out really lovely. So, there you go. So the next step that I have, I wanted to show you some of the options. As I told you before, um, I really want to metal this up as much as I can, this project. And I'm thinking of uses the, using these nail heads, which is something that uh, this beautiful you know tool that I talked to you about my purple monster also does it comes um, or you can buy the 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 little bits I guess you call them or pieces that uh, work with nail heads different sizes of course and the company also sells this ones let me show you some of them and I mean some because there's a lot more that I don't have but Aren't they gorgeous? And it's not just that they're beautiful, they're quality. I should be paid to do a commercial for them, huh? It, but it, it truly is. Um, I'm so spoiled that when I ran out of eyelets or grommets, I can't buy them from any other company. I just can't because they all fall apart. You know, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's one of the reasons why I love... Let me put a couple in my hand because the following ones are little, but these are not all the ones they have. I'll show you a couple of more that I still have. Okay, so let me see if I can point with this. Well, that's not too good. Let me see. There, this one. So this one right here, so it's made so it looks like a like a screw. This one, it's like dotted but in a dome shake shape. This one has like a point in the start. It has like um fast like it's faceted and then we have the rhinestones so they also have bits to put rhinestones and when I mean rhinestones they have a variety of colors obviously now let me show you some other ones that are still in the package that I haven't gotten out look at this one's like a little star faceted stars stars and they're big you know these ones are about seven sixteenths of an inch but um no, that's the size of the bit, I'm sorry. So if I put them in this, this is close to, it's about 3 eighths of an inch, if not bigger. Or maybe half an inch, I think. Yeah. And they come in 25 packages, or 25 item uh, packages. These are the ones that have, like, the screw on top, like, so it'll look like a screw. And I think I've shown you those. And these are these big ones that I have right here on the, on my, um, <clears throat> mat or canvas right there and the price like this one's for 25 you get 450 so you know they're not I don't think for the quality that we're getting I don't think they're expensive and those are retail prices because that's what I that's how I buy them there's another one that is kind of a cone dome uh, shape and it has like round circles on top it's really really cool and it's coppery and then this other one that it's new to me, um, it's new. I think it's a new tool for the company. It's kind of dotted up on top, but it's flat. The other one was dotted and it was kind of domed, and it was a different color too. So, so since I've had <clears throat> I've had a machine for many years, but um, and, and I bought just about every one of their little dilly things that they have um, to you know decorate a project and I owned obviously all the little tools I think if you buy the tool you have an option to buy it with all the bits or just with the essential ones um, I didn't want it to just the essentials because I I took a class during you know at the store my local store uh, which is um, 
uh, metal and uh, paper and metal scrappers. I'm sorry, and they I took a little class for them, so they offered a free class with it or a free demo, I guess you could say at the time. And when I saw what it did, it does a lot more. I mean, it does the corners. It does. It it'll put buttons. Okay. It has. We have those little. Let me see. Let's see if I can get them out for you. Oh, here. I have my little wheel that, that, so if I, okay, let me get one of these out. Well, the, the whole thing came out of there because they're kind of stuck together. But let me get one. I just want, I just want one. Okay. So this, look, that would be over a button. So you see the, I don't know if you can see the cross into it. There it is. So it, depending on the button, you know, obviously that you want. So the, I, I think what this company has done with this products are just, just amazing. Love them. Um, anyhow, and they have, you know, all their grommets and they have eyelets and their quality. Top notch, okay? They don't fall apart on you. They don't split either. They're great. Just um, an awesome place. So I got to tell now uh, my local store, Barbara is the owner. I got to tell her that uh, oh, she needs to bring some more because with this ad, a lot of people are going to be buying them. And I hope so too because... I don't just like to recommend a prod a product unless I, I am absolutely convinced and in love with it. Okay, so I believe in quality and, and I don't mind paying price if I know it's going to last. So so let me show you what we got here. I thought we could do some. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do all the ones I've have here, but I'm definitely going to show you how easy it is to utilize this one. So I'm gonna take them out. And because I want to use, uh, use other things, I've had this ones for a while. Not this one, since ones are new, but most of my, you know, things is things that I buy over the year. And then they get, not because I don't like them, they just, I don't know, they just get put back and I don't, I don't, um, and I don't use them. So I need to, since I'm in this mode of, um, uh, you know, using everything we have. Okay, so I'm going to use my biggest bit that I have. How do I know that's the one I need? Because if I put down the nail head in this case, and if I tested it, oops, sorry, if it's perfect, so it should fit without you struggling with it, okay? And they have another little tools. I'm just going to do the full little demo on you guys here. Sorry, but they're so cute. Okay, let me put this as the bottom part to my machine. If I don't drop it one more time, that would be really nice. Okay, so because we know that the nail heads or the rhinestones have this pointy things on the bottom, we don't want to grab them like that and hold our fingers. So they've given us this little funny tool and it has like like rubber in here so all you do is put your so let's pretend that this is an edge you put them on the edge or whatever table you're working on and with that foam underneath you go like this and voila you got it and then you bring this let me see if I can show you here then you bring it in here and you put it into that and you take well that demonstration went to pot so let's start again I'm dropping everything. It's because when I'm trying to do it on the camera and at the same time, so let me just try to do it here without looking at the camera. There, see, it's there. Can you see the prong sticking out? So now I am going to very carefully sit there because I don't want that to fall. I am going to put my, the area that I want that to be at. And there it is. I'm going to put it sideways to see if you can see it. Let me see. There. See, it's perfectly in there. And it's not going everywhere. But the other thing that is important is that the nail head did not get, um, you know, squashed or dented. Beautiful job. Okay. So, let me do a couple of them here. And then I'll be right back after I've done the whole long commercial. No, I'm not being paid by the company. Um, I just... I do love to brag about products that are really good out there. And I can tell you, I have bought some other ones that I go, who designed this and what were they thinking? So, all right. Okay, my friends, this is Gladys from Gladys Garden. And I am coming back to you to 
try to finish our canvas and um, <clears throat> as you can see I have a mess basically I pulled out a bunch of stuff that I had um, saved up and a lot of my middles a lot of odds and ends um, I took one of our pictures and I did the um, oh you know the glossy accents together with the crackle accent to create this funky effect that I don't know if you can there you go you can see it right there and then I put a uh, just one drop of coffee uh, let's see archival ink okay just one drop and just mixed it so it looks um, kind of oldish and uh, vintagey and um, you know distressed. I have a lot of old things in here. I have like an old, um, oh, what is this? One of those, um, uh, a clasp. I have parts of watches. I have old um, keychains. You know, odds and ends. I have a spoon that it came when I went to a um, thrift store. This is, I think, it was over a year ago. But anyways, it was in this pile. And somehow, I think I'm gonna use it this time. I don't know in what yet. But I wanted to show you some of the things that, you know, that I have pulled out. This is a middle button. Some of uh, the uh, Tim Holtz um, um, turn wheel, whatever you want to call that. And um, this is a steampunk watch with a square watch with um, gears on it. This was a tag that came... I think in a blouse that I bought somewhere. I don't even know. I can't remember where, but I thought it was really cute. And I said, oh, I'm using that puppy. Um, some more gears. Like I said, I don't have a, I don't have a complete picture of where this is going to go. But this gives you a chance for you to um, stop your video and maybe collect some of those uh, precious treasures that you've been saving for a while. And this perhaps could be the time. Uh, let's see what else do I have in here that I wanted to talk to you about before I go. Well, I think that's it. I am going to brainstorm as to where I want to have everything and once I kind of figure that out, I'll come back and, and talk to you guys about it and see how you like it. But this is your time to go get your stuff and, uh, you know, for you to start um, kind of thinking where you're going to put stuff, okay? And I'll come back to you as soon as I have a little chance. Take care. Bye. Well, oh, I can't even turn this off. Well, hello everyone. This is Gladys from Gladys Garden and Heart of a Gypsy. This is just a continuation of our uh, tutorial for this um, funky frame <laughs> that I've created. Um, up, to now, I, up to now, I think you have seen how, you know, we have put all together are the pieces of chipboard it may either be the back or the front and um, I told you I kind of show you some of the metals and you know why not uh, pieces from here and there um, I wanted to create this project using a lot of my odds and ends that uh, we end up having after many projects things like you know when I cut when I die cut my gears or any other any die cuts um, when I use them for my projects I always end up with a few here and there well I'm not I don't throw them away because I know there's always going to be a chance for me to to use them so here it is uh, my chance to use them and um, so I have a specific drawer in uh, my area where I throw all my little cut dies. Um, and sometimes, you know, I go through them several times and then I, if I feel like one of them is a little just too thin or too worn out, I just dispose of it, you know, it's not an issue. But a lot of them are really good and, um, and I actually do hate die cutting. So uh, anytime that I can get away with not doing it. And again, this project for me was about utilizing odds and ends that I had. So I didn't cut anything for this project, nothing. Um, the only thing that I printed was this girl's right here, my photo, um, but that was it. The embellishments I used like the gears, like, the, you know, which made out of chipboard, obviously. 
let's see what else little tags and it's hard hard for you to see and I'll, and I'll bring them up in a little bit little tags um, this telephone die cut my um, oh uh, you know my um, typewriter die and die cut even the note that is coming out of the typewriter was a leftover okay uh, this um, right here this uh, clock hands they were leftovers my um, tool and also my lace were little pieces of leftovers the way I created these flowers was with pure leftovers of grunged uh, paper that I just cut into strips whatever I have left and I used them you know so even the embossing powder that I used to emboss some of my die cuts it was a leftover from a kind of a concoction that I created to for a specific project I, I mix certain colors to come up with something I needed or I wanted and I have very little left and that's what I use so really it was about using every thing I had okay and I think I did pretty good with it and as I told you before I really wanted to metal the, this up I really wanted to gunk it up with metals and everything um, that I like so I did <clears throat> so let me explain to you you have seen you when I think you saw this picture already mounted or not I can't remember but anyways I printed my paper oh I think you did because I explained to you how I did the you know the the color that is on top of it or, or the texture actually so after that I printed two sheets of um, this uh, collage papers that I had bought at, at Etsy and I put them I backed them on, onto chipboard and then uh, which was left over too and then I cut the corners I um, used my crumper no my chumpers um, one was the um, Oh, what do you call it? I don't know if it was the Art Deco and some other ones, but anyhow, I just kind of flirted around with them, and um, that's how I did that. Uh, let's see what else. And then I did the same mixture I did over my picture and my husband's picture over this, um, I guess you call them ATCs perhaps. Um, so I mixed my um, glossy accents with a crackle accent and just kind of swirl it and let it dry they still a little wet not completely done all the way so and then I adhere them to certain parts my my whole thing about creating this project I didn't want to interfere with the the holes you know and I did ha I did have to cheat and this one kind of interfered like about a quarter of an inch over here so it's you know it wasn't terribly but I didn't want to uh, want her leave her out and I didn't like the way she looked here or here um, so yeah <laughs> I ended up with that then I created a little booklet right here this one it's just little ATCs and then some stamp work that I've done and I can still put some pictures and I will put some pictures of me and my husband in there and then I created this um, this um, gears there's about there's three gears over it and I put them together with a with a um, oh what do you call this one's right here anyhow I'll, I'll, I'll think of it right now but anyhow so I put them in there and then from there stamps this little bottle that I uh, put together and I color it with um, with um, alcohol ink a little bit and I put some gears in there and it's glued and this part is glued to it and then later on I thought you know um, I have to move this one because this kind of interferes with it let me see if I can see yeah I kind of does so and I'm gonna have to kind of well I don't know we'll see we'll see uh, let's see what else can I talk to you about some of these metals that I've had in here like this one that says yours and ours traditions I've had them forever okay I can't even begin to tell you how old they are um, but I wanted to use them and I haven't found a place that I could use them um, myself and I said well this is the time and I pretty much cover the whole thing with those um, Oh, well, let's see, what are they? The Inca Golds, you know, different ones to give them different textures or different look to them. On the bottom here, on this little square, I put some uh, lace behind it 
just wanted to kind of match it with uh, my hair piece suppose <laughs> and um, I put a big keyhole that I have no clue who it belongs to which company or anything like that I've been I'm really bad about that then I inserted this key in there and I glued it because it was a little short key and then I hang this little dilly from it and from them I hang my tags let me see if I can bring it up so you guys can see it but I will take a lot of pictures of this standing up so you guys can appreciate it a little you know a little better or with uh, oops, with more detail oh I can see what's gonna happen out here okay um, let's see what else did we do in here well I think that's it uh, this key right up here was a leftover or some work that I have done uh, on a book and I just embed I um, I had um, cut die some keys it's this is a die from um, Acu cut I think that I bought and then I cut it and then I embossed it and then press embossed it too so it's distressed to the point of no return there's a gear here a metal button with one of those new Prima little twister things and as you can tell I put a lot of those nail heads everywhere because again that's that was one of the things that I wanted uh, to do um, flowers the flowers are created there's a lot of um there's a lot of um, tutorials online as to how to make those. Um, let me see if you can... There it is. And um, basically, you cut a piece. Um, if you want the, the flowers of much, like double the size of that, you can go like half an inch by 12 inches. So it's, it's just a strip. And you just roll them, roll them, and then, you know, and roll them onto itself. Um, if you cut a little round piece of card or cardstock or whatever, and then you can be gluing it to it. This one's, I wanted to use my little pieces that I have leftovers, and I ended up with those, and I'm very, very pleased with them. Um, and these ones are the baby, baby gears from Prima. Those are some of the new ones. And I, like I said, I didn't want to use a lot of new stuff because I, I didn't want to, you know. I really need to use what I have. But, you know, come on, who can resist those little baby gears? I'm, I'm crazy about gears. So, so again, you know, I was trying to make a nice, cute, fancy frame, and I ended up uh, st uh, steampunking the whole thing. Um, so I have, I'm hopeless, what can I tell you? Then I put this word here, Vogue, that I had cut out with, what did I do that? With my, um, I think it was with my Cricut, and this is years ago, okay? I think it's right when I had bought my machine, and I haven't used it at all. The machine, uh, it's nice, but I don't. I think I'm gonna end up with cartridges. It's unbelievable, you know. But I even have the Gypsy. I have, you know, just everything. But um, they're just not. I'm not that usable for me. For other people, perhaps, but to me, it's it's good to have. But you know, I deal with thick cardstock, thick chipboards and all that good stuff and that's that's what I like anyhow because I like the construction feel of it and I think those are more perhaps for cards and things of that nature and you know let's not go there with me so well I do hope you have enjoyed this tutorial it wasn't so detailed but there wasn't much to do on this it's really use your imagination with the products that you already have and you know if you make a challenge to yourself let's use everything I can in this project with leftovers you'll be surprised you'll be very surprised of the things we have so anyhow I will take lots of pictures and then I will post them up so the pictures are following up right now and enjoy take care uh, please uh, let me a comment let me know how you liked it and um, yeah just need to know all right you guys take care bye